me now. Hey, me welcome now. to the Claudia Jordan Show and yeah. the Pigeon. Yeah. That's right. Who's in the house? Tina Davina is in the house. Who's in the house? Flora's in the house. Who's in the house? Miss Porsche's in the house. Who's in the house? Shelly Rio. It's your girl, Claudia Jordan. We're on Twitter. Hit us up on the Twitter page and yes, send us your questions. Our topic tonight, sexual fantasies. What is your sexual fantasy? Have you ever fulfilled a fantasy? And who, besides us, is your fantasy <laughs> with? Give us a call, 877-2106-106. You're listening to XM 149, Series 106. The fellas have been asking. You know, they said, hey, we've, we've heard about you guys complain about men or other experiences you've had. We want to hear some sexual stuff. We want to get back to the grit and the grime. And the, <laughs> they want to get turned on. We want to hear something a little bit more sexual. We've, we've been a little cerebral in the last few months, and it's time to... Go back to our grimy gutter roots. Give us a call, 877-2106-106. Ladies, have you, anybody did anything since last week? I haven't asked. No? Mm -hmm. You guys are fucking crazy. All right, crickets. Um, Claudia, <laughs> what have you been up to? Let's hear about your exciting yeah, life. Uh, I went to Vegas uh, for the fight festivities. Mm -hmm. I had a great time. Uh, I never drank Ace of Spades. And what I, is that? What is, yeah. Something very, very expensive. Just the big celebrities drink it. So. <laughs> oh, what is it like a No wonder why I've never even heard of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was a fun times. I went to Jay-Z's party at uh, Tao, and he had another one at Lava. It was cool. Ham, Diddy, all, you know, it was all in. Yeah, yeah, you you know, you're, you're regular, your regular crowd. Well, but I, I was hanging with my peers. Yeah, exactly. You didn't fall in the bathtub again, did you? <laughs> Stunning as a habit. I didn't fall in the bathtub, but I, I think I... Is it gay if you fall asleep? Okay, if you're drunk and you're sharing a bed with your friend, right? Because, you know, we did a real a cheap trip. Oh, friend. Yeah. No. <laughs> Here we, we, we knew she was going to cross the team. <laughs> the side. We knew. Oh, okay. oh, is this why wow. we had this topic today? Um, okay, <laughs> listen. <laughs> you know I'm the most no homo chick out there, right? Like, I don't change in front of you guys. I have my back to you guys. When I used to model do fashion shows, I wouldn't like, have my back to the rest of the models. Yes, I would sure. be very conservative with mine. <laughs> It's a gay if you get really drunk. And I went to bed with a dress on and chicken cutlets, and I woke up and I only had a thong on. And I was like, who undressed me? And nobody would answer. Wait, you had a thong? <laughs> Just a thong. Um, oh and then, <laughs> Nikki. Who did you share a room with? Yeah, who yeah, you share a room Which with? one of the girls? My girl, Nikki Chu. Shout out to Nikki Chu. Oh. And I, I was like, she said that we spooned. Oh, <laughs> shut up. up. You have Are you sure that's all you did? You have she officially be texting crossed you. over. You crossed the line. Any minute now. She's yeah. going to be texting No, you. I don't believe it. She said, she it. but the sad thing about it is, you know how it's an epidemic, all of these hot girls have no men? She's like, I knew it was wrong, but kind of felt good, so I let you. <laughs> wow. So, so, so basically, basically yeah, it was you. You were the initiator it was you. of the spoon. Uh -huh. But who took my clothes off? And Maybe nobody would did. answer me. <laughs> Claudia, I am shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. FYI, let's insert this. Portia was not there. So <laughs> I... None of us were. It wasn't me. None of us were there, so that's a good thing. I feel a little dirty. But I also feel like I'm edgy now. Like now I have oh, edgy oh. now. And I got She's like and what on the on the on the resume I spooned with a chick. All right, you no Claudia longer has now turned yes. Lebanese. But you no longer can say no homo. I'm sorry, I won't allow you to. She said something about a butt hurting too, but that oh, wasn't me. Wow. That wasn't what was me. she wearing when you woke up? <laughs> she was in like sweats and a flannel shirt and, <laughs> and, and she had a mullet. A mullet. Was that she got that it. Gay? Am I gay? She got it. Yes. At you. So All right, our yes. topic tonight, speaking of my experience in Vegas, yes. sexual <laughs> fantasies. Have you ever fulfilled a fantasy for a fella or a female? Shout out to Nikki Chu. Um, <laughs> and you know, I hate you. No, nah, I told her, I said, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know, I think she roofied me. Something. Um, I'm going back next week. Um, so anyways, <laughs> Tina Savino. Yes. Fantasies. I know this is your kind of department here. You, you seem like the ride or die chick. Like you're the one that would, you know, fulfill some fantasies. Definitely. What kind of, what's like the most outrageous fantasy a man wanted you to fulfill? Anything you can share with us on the radio? Um. Yeah, I, I think the the definitely the two the you know two women and him, me and another girl. Um, that was a, a fantasy of his. And and at first I was you know back in the day I was like nah, but he was like you know I kind of want this. And I was like okay, well let me pick the chick. And that was your first time. That was my first time. You weren't were you nervous? Um, no, nah, I'm a little you know. But your very first time <laughs> you were nervous to like be with a abroad. I wasn't. So you would be. You didn't feel. You know what? It was very liberating for me because I, I I felt like I was the pimp. I felt like I was the dude because I you know we went to the club. I picked her out, and basically it wasn't sex. It was just gonna be you know she had rules. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. We we all we all went to dinner. We got tipsy, um, and it was like okay, we're just gonna use your hands and your mouth. And that's it. 
<laughs> your hand, wow. like there's rules. Nobody's actually gonna be fucking here. So you don't care about. I don't know her like that. You don't care about her, her hopes, her dreams, her aspirations, her thoughts. <laughs> None of that. You just wanted her hands and her mouth. Hilarious. So the extra skin around the hands and mouth was what we call a woman. Right. You did not care about that. You just wanted the. Hands. Right. It was really just the whole idea of you know him watching me and her. Really, really. That's how it started. You know. Wow. That was you know. So years back. on a one to ten, uh, what level of sensation did you feel for the other woman? Uh, did she, she was a toy. When I was done, I was changed. Yeah. Did she her. get you wet? Yeah, one to ten. Oh, uh, gosh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> one to ten. No doubt. Yes, it was very sexy. It was very sexy. Two beautiful women. You know. I, I would get turned on. Now, what do you look for in a woman? You look for you have a big ass. You look wow. for a woman with a big ass as well. Or no, are you a titty girl? Be one big ass. I am. <laughs> She's your There's titty. Only one big ass in the room at a time. See it to be on the podcast. Exclusive is a titty girl. I don't have big titties, so you know I would want that. You know that the compliment. Right, the compliment. Right. You know, right. let me have what I don't. But have. you have ass, so she has to have no ass. Big no ass. No ass. And titties. So Wait, of course she be your type. Yeah, no. Stop. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't know what's going on. Wait. Does she like girls? Oh, Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Yeah. Welcome to the show. How are you doing, girl? Welcome. I'm like, welcome. Shelly Rio. You're fired. <laughs> well, you said that she no. likes... I love Please. men, and I would never have a relationship with a man. I mean, she with a woman. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Wow. I would never have a relationship with a woman. She fulfilled the fantasy for a man. Exactly. She's with a girl. Oh, she, so she was saying she liked boobs. Oh. She was, you know, I was going I'm, there. On the other woman. <laughs> See, to, to get on the show, you have to do research of the other show. Exactly. <laughs> so therefore, you are... <laughs> Basically, Shelly, it's her criteria when she yeah. picks the women. Yeah, when I pick a woman, oh, this is what okay. I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Flora Santiago, um, have you fulfilled a fantasy? I've never filled any fantasies. None. Zero. None. None. <laughs> <laughs> Insert. <laughs> Insert. <laughs> Insert. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, I have a fantasy. Has, has a guy to do it with a cricket. There. Has anyone asked you to do anything? <laughs> a three way? Or? Uh, yeah, I've been asked many times. Wait a minute. Flora Santiago, I think I remember something about you. Uh oh. <laughs> what? I slept with a woman. There we go. But there was a we go. Yeah, no, Take, look, look, look at Shelly's face. Like, what was, is was, going on? It was more so like, hmm, I wonder if I like carpet. You know what? No, I don't. <laughs> Shelly Rio's face is like, oh my God, these bitches are gay. So God. you tried it and then you didn't like it. Shelly's like, no, I don't like it. But she did you. She sure did. Wow. Wait, how do you, wait, how does a girl do a girl? Huh? Wow. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> Shelly. Are you serious? Come on. Is, use your imagination. Uh, when she went down on you? Yeah, Shelly, this is when cunnilingus comes into play. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a porn, Shelly? I want to li- 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 lick you That's for sinners. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Shelly, so Flora was with a female, and the woman put, took her panties off and went down on her. But that's not having sex. Oral sex, though. Not that yeah, penetrated, but it's still okay, a form when of sex. Okay, sex, I'm thinking of, you know. Sex. But if two women, let's say lesbians, they don't always oh, yeah. just have Thanks. Portia like, Coleman. Yeah. Back when you were doing it. Uh, <laughs> back in the back when Clinton was in office. Uh, <laughs> have you? Has a guy ever asked you? I mean, you're young, so. The young um. Guys? Yes and no. I mean, not really, honestly, because uh, it's always younger guys that try to get at me. So I think they're a little more afraid to kind of ask certain questions. So mm-hmm. not really. Not really. Not not really. Have they asked me to do anything but wild or crazy? I mean, come on. I'm. I have a fantasy. I'm young. I'm. I'm fresh. I've been in a few yeah. videos. I've had my own video. <laughs> I mean, that is a fantasy in itself. You know. <laughs> Do you have, what is your fantasy? To maybe perhaps just um, get, get some basic missionary sex? A basic sex? <laughs> it would be great uh, to find a decent guy to get it popping. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, fantasies, I mean, if I was in like a committed relationship, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't matter. Anything could be a fantasy because as long as you know that he's committed to you, it'd be like, whatever. But no guys are really committing no, but, to women anymore, so but, but you're not going to get it. A fantasy isn't like something logical. A fantasy is just like, you know what? If I, if you can throw all that shit out the window, right. then he's going to call me back. He's stable. Oh. Like, you just straight up. No stability. You know what? Because I always had a thing that I thought would be sexy if I went on a trip somewhere tropical, and then I met someone, and then, you know, it just... Right passion ensued quickly right 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 that could be sexy like um in jamaica like we went to jamaica they had like a new beach they had a whole oh, bunch of tight stuff yeah if we i mean we let me hear, let me hear was, you tell the story then i'll tell the real story man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened so think, no we were in jamaica and and like our actual hotel was on looking a new beach so mm-hmm. therefore you know we're sitting there looking yeah, you baby. had women <laughs> men just butt naked and they did not care i'm talking about Fat, skinny, why it, it didn't matter. So they were so free. So I'm like, yeah, this would be so romantic. If you were here with your dude, you got the naked beach, you guys are kicking it. I'm talking about you could have dinner naked, drink naked, dance naked, That's everything. Hot. That's I like my so it was beach. like, wow, that was kind of sexy, you know? So 
I did. It had been cool. You know, we had some guys. And, yeah. What if so the guy that, that, Wait, that's just how you're going to finish the story? You're going to finish like that? What? We, we, <laughs> we didn't get it. Oh, because that, well, what happened? I was there. there. It wasn't me and you that trip. Right. No, I was there. Oh, no, we, yeah, because we she, at trip. one point, did get missing. Oh. <laughs> the whole night. <laughs> was not yes, she did. Missing. It was the night before we were leaving. whatever. And it was the cutest guy that was there. She did disappear. Ooh. I believe there may have been some. What? I. I. Did you? No. <laughs> no, no, no. The guy was very cute. We actually were not. Listen, just, you let him suck in your titties, didn't you? No. Portia. Not at all. I Portia. Portia. Oh. Honestly. <laughs> Come on, Portia. I'm serious. She came up. She came home when the sun was uh, up. Because our flight was at like 8 o'clock. I'm a night owl. I never sleep. So it was already like 12. I was in bed back. watching, I was watching yeah. movies by myself. It was wow. 12. The we homie got... was on the beach with some the best looking guy there. Wow. I was. There was a crab, a big crab that I saw. I was taking pictures of the crab. It was very boring, honestly. He did not get 